is because I just, I'm doing my own thing, I guess, as we all should do, right? Well, anyway, I'm still in the book, the house in this room. What is 396 minus 219? There you go, 177 pages. Isn't that nice? I went to the library yesterday, but the other ones that you'll see as well. One of them, I um, I got this yesterday. Nobody climbed the mountain. Oops, hold on a second. <laughs> Nobody climbed that mountain. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so here we go. Linus is a lowly fourth daughter of the queen and always getting in the way but a demon is, is terrorizing the land and now she she's an adult albeit barely when re with responsibility she tells herself although she still gets in the way she understands that the only way to save her people is to invoke the path between her family and the elder sorcerer who has inhabited the local tower for a long for as long as her people have lived there though none in living memory has approached it but elder near is an, a sorcerer and she is and he is and he is forbidden to help and his knowledge of science tells him to threat the threat cannot possibly be a demon okay it's science fiction okay lily's promise that i'm reading this month this month into next month uh the crim the crimson petal and the white this is what emily gilmore read in that in the series Gilmore Girls and it's quite thick it's how many freaking pages are you 800 when was this published it had to have been published roughly around the same time they were talking about it on, on Gilmore Girls, but I'm going to double check. 2002. The other book that I got that day, yeah, that day was Ghost Eaters. Pop of Peel, See the Dead, Side Effects May Occur. <laughs> That's not funny, but it's, so, it, it's perfect for this time of year. You know what I mean? It really is. And then the other one would be um, Books of the Dead, uh, Books of the Book. Oh. Books of Blood, I just picked up yesterday. Bo volumes 1 to 3 from Stephen King. He scares even me. What Barker does in the book of Bl Books of Blood makes the rest of us look like we've been asleep for the last 10 years. Some of the stories were so creepily awful that I literally could not read them alone. Others go up and over the edge of, the, of its gruesome territory. He is an original. And for the piece of resistance, and this is more like of a love thing, Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Amy is cryogenically frozen passenger above the spaceship Godspeed. She has left her boyfriend, friends, and planet behind the jo to join her parents as a member of Project Ark ship. What does it take to survive abroad, aboard a ship fueled by lies? On the bottom here, a horrifying and deliciously claustrophobic masterpiece that's part sci-fi, part dystopian, and entirely brilliant. Kirsten White, the author of Paranormalcy. But anyhow, that's what I had for you guys this week and my week in review. Um, it's been a very trying week. It's been a very trying week. A lot of this book, <laughs> it really has. By getting through a lot of this book, it's just been... <sighs> so, so, you'll have to forgive me for not posting. I enjoy your time. Thank you for tuning in. 
I will see you next week. Love you all. Enjoy your Sunday. Take care. Stay comfortable wherever you are in the world. And I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.